What's going on guys? I just pulled up to Hammertown to the Mickey Thompson booth and my mind's blown because a couple weeks ago it was just dirt out here. Now there's a full town filled with people, filled with Ultra 4 race cars everywhere. Those things look insane. Now I'm going to go head over to Chocolate Thunder and uh, Backdoor and see what these things can do. Chocolate Thunder, we have arrived. Now, this is one of the hot spots for the race, and right now it's open to the public, and tomorrow it's gonna be open for the race, but I wanna see what's going on. I mean, there's like 12 cars piled up right now. A lot of money getting spent right now in this very moment. It's, I, I feel like I'm getting a little bit of vibe of what it's gonna be like on race day because there's not as many people, I don't think. Uh, a lot of guys talking smack, but a lot of guys are taking these lines that are insane that, you know, I've never, I've gone crawling once, uh, but nothing like this. Got a little taste of the chocolate. I think it's time to go to back door. Let's see what's over there. <laughs> Built this out so I can just really go out on vacation and have fun and get away, really. And then you come here and you see these guys that make vehicle specific to either rip in the sand, hit the whoops, climb these crazy, crazy rock faces. Man, it's just, I've never seen anything like some of the stuff I just saw right now. All right, just got back from chocolate. Now we're at back door, and I heard this is one of the most difficult obstacles out here. Now, it's also open to the public, so since it's not race day right now, I wanna see if anybody's out here getting after it. The obstacle's as big as the Can-Am, the guy's trying to get up, but these guys are committed. It's Sick. Chocolate's cool because it's a lot of people I see going after it, you know, and there's, I think it's more available, like, like more people can do it, you know, but this is like, you gotta either know what you're doing and have the right rig or you gotta just send it is what it looks like. That was insane. Honestly, uh, after watching him go for it about five times and he didn't make it, I was like, there's the tiniest percentage he's gonna make it. And uh, the last one, he sent it right up. It was insane. And then the fact that he came back down blew my mind. That was awesome, but I hear there's a real big one coming up, which is the shootout. So I think it's time to get over there and see some of the real big dogs take it on. Yeah, better get over there before uh, you can't find a seat. We're at the shootout, which is the first like actual event I'm getting to see at King of the Hammers. And it's a course that it looks insane and fastest man wins if they can complete it and that's some tough terrain right there so I'm excited to see what happens.
thing is easily twice the size of his rig. And the guy flips three times on the way down. He's the first one to go. So I have a feeling there's probably gonna be a couple more for the end of the night. That thing right there is... still going he's still going oh that was awesome that was sick <laughs> So uh, never seen anything like that in my life. Uh, those things were insane. The ones I thought were gonna make it didn't. The ones that I never would have thought would have made it went up no problem. Uh, the energy in the crowd was off the charts. When the guys made it to the top, the whole crowd went crazy. And especially because there's in between time when a rig would crash or flip upside down and they had to get it back up. So there's all this downtime and it literally goes from like chill, relaxed. It's uh, you know waiting, 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 waiting and then somebody goes, guns it, and it's full of adrenaline rush. And it's, I would compare it to, you know, the adrenaline rush those guys probably get is gotta be like skydiving or something. It's insane. I would love to try that one day. But uh, never seen anything like this in my life. Absolutely loving this experience. Uh, so grateful to be here, and I'm excited to see what else KOH has in store for me, but most excited for race day. It's gonna be good.